Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be memory planning for the week of May 18th through the 24th. So I will be filling in the spread with everything that happened this week. This is the third spread in my four week plan with me using the kawaii kit from Sweet Kawaii Design called Reading Daydream. So if you want to see how the spread was put together, you can definitely go check that video out first. Most of the stickers that I will be using are from Sweet Koi Design, and any stickers that are not, I will do my best to point them out. If you have any questions about anything in particular, you can definitely leave them in a comment down below. I am starting with the sidebar, and usually with my memory plan with me's, I like to film them on two separate days so that I can get my midweek spread. But this week, you'll see later on that I had a hard time focusing on my midweek spread. So I am filming all in one day, and I was able to fill out my entire sidebar. In the full box at the top, I used one of the free printables from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that it is week 9 of quarantine. In the blank weekly schedule, I like to track how much sleep I get every day, and I also add the sleep score from my Fitbit app. And then for my habit trackers, I like to track reading the Bible as well as posting on Instagram. Moving on to Monday, in my checklist, I tidied up and disinfected. We had a call for our rental property. I recorded a voiceover. And then I spent quite a bit of time continuing to choose pictures to print, which was one of my goals for the month of May to get started on printing a bunch of pictures. Then the last thing is to meal plan and write a grocery list. Right underneath my checklist, I added a smaller flat lay from River Street stickers to mark that I edited my memory plan with me. Below that, I wanted to mark that we made our first mango pineapple smoothie. Previously, we were making a lot of berry smoothies, and PJ asked to make a orange or yellow smoothie, so I decided to go with mango and pineapple. We also added some banana and orange juice to that. In the half box, I added a Peanuts Valentine sticker that is probably from Walmart to mark that Benny wanted to wear his Woodstock costume. He has been able to choose what he wears for quite a while, and he saw his costume in the corner of the closet and insisted on wearing that this day. He wasn't a fan of wearing it on Halloween, but for some reason, this day he really wanted to. Below that, I added a work from home with distraction sticker from Once More With Love to mark that I was trying to edit and the boys were going wild and they had a bunch of energy running around everywhere. And eventually I just gave in to them asking me to play with them. So I played basketball with them right up until it was time to take a bath and go to bed. Then on Tuesday, I uploaded my memory plan with me. Then I made a couple of posts on Facebook, on the Sweet Kawaii Design Facebook group, as well as the Coffee Monsters Co. And it always takes a lot for me to post on Facebook. I don't know why I get so anxious about it, but I'm just not one to put myself out there. I ended up having to do a grocery run, and normally I wouldn't have gone at all this week, but there were a couple of things that I wasn't able to get last week, and my husband insisted that he wanted those items, so he offered to go, but I already have it kind of figured out. So I went to get groceries, I came home and disinfected them. And then, since I didn't have a whole lot of room for the rest of the day, I decided to mark that I watched the Listen to Your Heart finale. The winners had already been spoiled for me because it was all over my YouTube page. And normally I watch it the day after it airs because I watch it on Hulu. So I already know who won, but even watching it, I was so disappointed and I almost didn't even finish watching it. I had to take a break and finish the rest later. But anyways, I have this full box from Sweet Bean Plans, the playroom kit, and since I had already chosen this full box, I decided to tidy up the boys' rooms, put away all their toys, and spend some extra time reading one-on-one. -on -one. Then below that, I have a header, cloud, and icon to mark that we had a home gym workout, which we have been doing during nap time. And in the half box at the bottom, I marked that we had a family Zoom call with my brother and sister. And at the bottom of that box, I added this really cute Avengers tray from Sweet Bean Plans to mark that my husband and I watched the Avengers this night. 
Moving on to Wednesday, my husband drove into work and he was able to sell our total gym. He actually sold it to someone who lived close to his work, so that was the day that we finally got rid of it. Then I marked that I needed coffee with this really cute coffee cup from Sweet Bean Plans. It has a little mermaid shell on it. I also recorded my voiceover and we had an appointment to drain and clean our pool. I had mentioned before that our pool pump wasn't working, so once we finally got that replaced, we were finally able to get it clean. The last thing I wrote was that I placed an Etsy order with three different shops. I had been adding things to my cart for about a week, and then I found out that Latrice Papery was having new releases on this day, so I basically waited to order everything at once. Along with Latrice Papery, I ordered from Panda Bird Design and the Pretty Pink Co. Again, this full box is from Sweet Bean Plans. I was running out of worksheets that I thought would be interesting for PJ, and on this day I finally found a different website and printed out a bunch of worksheets, so he was excited to get back into that. In the half box, I used this cleaning ninja emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co., I spent a lot of time cleaning the living room and all of the counters. Whenever my husband goes into work, it is usually my goal for him to come home to a clean house. Below that, I have this cute house doodle from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that I dropped off some dinner for my sister. She was going to be getting her wisdom teeth removed on Friday, so I wanted to make her one of her favorite meals. And then below that, I marked that it was bath night. Flipping over to Thursday, I ran the Roomba. I worked on my filming schedule. There are certain videos that take me a really long time to edit, so I always try to make sure that they are filmed ahead of time. I already have a schedule for when I want videos to be posted, so I'm trying to stick to that as best as I can, and making a filming schedule really helps me stay on track. Then my husband and I spent some time cleaning the kitchen. Later, I had to withdraw some money from the ATM, and I had a lot to mark on this day, so at the very bottom, I just added that it was pizza night. Simon eating pizza in a bubble is the cutest way to mark that during this time. Then I used one of the emojis from the Utter Chaos sticker sheet to mark that I couldn't concentrate on this day. I was really trying to finish prepping for my midweek spread, so I needed to finish my notes, pick out all the stickers, and start filming, but I couldn't focus, and after a couple hours, I just decided it wasn't worth it. I think my mind was too worried about editing my haul video because I really wanted to get it up on Friday. I used a bunny onesie working emoji to mark that I edited my haul video. Then I used a flat lay from River Street Stickers to mark our workout, and I actually colored this in with mild liners to try to match the colors in the kit. Below that, I wrote that our dog played in our half-filled pool. It took about a day and a half to fully fill our pool. Our dog doesn't like to get into the pool when it is completely filled, but at this point, he was able to stand on the step and have the water barely cover his paws. So he had a lot of fun, and all of us sat on the edge and watched him play with the water. Then I used a puzzle munchkin to mark that I finished our second puzzle. My husband lost interest after we finished the border, so I ended up doing the rest of it by myself. This puzzle was a thousand pieces. In the half box at the bottom, I wanted to mark family zoom with my brother and sister. On this evening, our boys had a new baseball set that my husband was teaching them how to use. So we ended up doing that for the first half of our zoom call. And then at the end, we did a virtual game night on our phones. PJ, my sister and I played crazy eights. Then on Friday, I uploaded my first quarantine haul video. Then we were able to add our startup pool chemicals. I cleaned both of the bathrooms. I edited and uploaded some pictures I want to print. Then at the bottom, I just added this Mermaid George sticker that says, I want to be where the people aren't. Below the checklist, I wrote that my sister had her wisdom teeth removed. In the quarter box, I added a sticker from Once More With Love to mark that I got Happy Mail from Harriet Wright Designs and Amazon. 
Below that, I used an unplug emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. We did not watch TV the entire day, mainly because PJ wasn't listening, so we needed a reset, and the boys honestly had a lot more fun on this day. In the half box, I wanted to mark bubble fun outside with boys. My husband was actually doing yard work while all of us were playing with bubbles. Then at the very bottom, I just wanted to use some of the stickers from the kit to make a little scene and mark that I spent the night relaxing. Moving on to the weekend. On Saturday, my husband went to get new tires for his car. Then we spent some time in the backyard. He was doing yard work and I pressure washed. I also cleaned the pool. And then I ordered some pool chairs, a rug, and some pillows. We want to create a nice little area to dry off after swimming. Below the weekend banner, we actually had a lot going on on Saturday. And as you can see, there isn't much room left for the rest of the day. But since this full box is from Sweet Koi Design, I am able to pull it up easily. And I decided that I wanted to try making a day extender. I think I had first seen this from Erica Marie Plans, and recently I also started watching Glam Planner, and she does this pretty frequently. So I cut up some sticker paper to the dimensions that I needed, put half of it down in place of the full box, and then folded it in half and added the full box on top. It was a little difficult because you're putting sticky on sticky, so if you don't get it on straight the first time, it is pretty difficult to remove. So I couldn't do this on camera, I had to get really close to make sure that I was getting it on straight. But once it was on, I was so excited about having so much extra room. I was so excited that I didn't have to pick only a few of the important things that happened this day. At the very top of the day extender, I wanted to mark that we FaceTime with my sister. We actually checked in with her quite a bit after her surgery on Friday and throughout the weekend just to make sure she was okay. Then I used the important label that I actually took from Monday and I wrote that we had a workout. Normally, we don't have our long workouts on the weekend, but Monday was a pretty busy day for my husband, so we shifted all of our workouts to Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Below that, I'm using this house doodle from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that my mom came over and dropped off some rice pudding. Whenever she drops anything off, the boys love to stand at the door and wave at her at a distance. In the half box, I have this Iron Man bean from Sweet Bean Plans because we watched Iron Man 3 this night. Benny and PJ decorated our window with summer themed window clings. Then I wanted to mark that it was our first pool day. Last summer, we always took the boys swimming after nap time because there was plenty of shade over the pool so that the boys weren't getting direct sun on them. But we didn't realize that right now the pool water is really cold, so right now it's better to go swimming when the sun is out. PJ and Benny still ended up having fun. PJ went in a lot quicker than Benny. Benny was tightly holding on to me and he was not happy about the cold water, but eventually he did want to join PJ and they had a lot of fun splashing around. Below the quarter box, I marked that it was my cousin's birthday and we had a family Zoom call to sing happy birthday to her. Then at the very bottom, I snuck in a little bathtub to mark that the boys took a bath after swimming. Then on Sunday, I ended up having to run to the grocery store because I didn't realize that Memorial Day was coming up so quickly. I just picked up a few things for us to have a little barbecue. I did some laundry and then I did my weekly check-in in my budget planner. And then we also decided that we wanted to stream an additional church service from our previous church in Washington. We really missed that church and we're so excited to add that to our Sundays. In the full box below the weekend banner, I marked that my husband and I went swimming without the boys. It was really relaxing and I don't think we did that enough last summer, so we are planning to do that a lot more this time. After we swam, we watched an episode of Elementary and ended up napping for a little bit before the boys woke up. The cat couple sticker is from Fox and Cactus. Then I used a puzzle munchkin from Once More With Love to mark that I started the next puzzle which has 2,000 pieces. 
The first two puzzles I was able to assemble on a foam poster board, but with this one I had to move to the table in the kitchen. So now I have to try to make sure that the boys don't touch it. In the corner box at the bottom, I added a quarantine and chill sticker that pretty much represents me binge watching YouTube. Now I'm moving on to my monthly overview and filling in the highlights for this week. Starting with the 18th, we were trying to have our therapy switch to the 18th, but we weren't able to switch Mondays, so I just added a little arrow to signify that we are still doing it on the 25th. But for the 18th, I just added a bow and I wanted to highlight that Benny wears his Woodstock costume. On the 19th, my husband and I watched Avengers. On the 20th, my husband drove into work and we also had our pool drained and cleaned. On the 21st, our boys played with their new baseball set. Flipping over to the 22nd, my sister had her wisdom teeth removed. On the 23rd, it was my cousin's birthday, and I also wanted to mark that it was the first pool day, so I added that in the 24th and added little arrows. And then on the 24th, I wrote that this week I had two uploads. But that is all for my memory plan with me this week. I am so excited about finally using my very first day extender in a spread. I feel like even if I don't have a lot going on on a certain day, I could still fill in those spaces with little journal entries, but it just feels so exciting to have so much more room added to a single day. But anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.